According to John Maxwell, everything rises and falls on the shoulders of leaders. That simply put, that the success of an organization, a people, a nation, a dream, a vision, or a project, even a marriage, is dependent on the quality of leadership at play within that system. Today on Total You, we want to discuss on how to become an effective leader. Simply put, how to be more successful in life, understanding and improving your leadership skills. Do stay tuned. Number one, eyes. Eyes are the organs that allow us to be able to see our surroundings. Eyes are an organ that are able to allow us to move from point A to point B. Eyes is to a person as a vision is to an effective leader. A vision simply is the, a picture of a desired future. Every effective leader possesses a vision. A vision of not just the now, but a vision that sees beyond the now into the future. Tons and tons of people have worked the face of the earth, but leaders have stood out over the annals of time and left footprints on the tablets of our hearts simply because they were able to see a future. They had a vision of a future. They had a vision for something better. They had a vision for something much greater than where they presently are. Men and women that are able to change the world, change society, and have effect on time as we know it, are people who can see something that is not common to every other eye. You must always be able to not just see to the bend, but see beyond the bend. It's important to underscore this because without a vision, a people indeed will perish. There are too many homes and relationships and interactions without little or no vision. And because there is no vision, we see frustration in motion. Today, I want you to sit down and ask yourself, what is the vision of my business? What is the vision of this industry? What is the vision that I have for the future? Do not just live life haphazardly, live life intentionally and get a vision. In order to be effective, you must have a vision. Not just a vision for today, but a vision that transcends today into tomorrow. The nose is number three. The nose to a person is what we use to inhale and to exhale. So, a nose to a person is what inspiration is to an effective leader. That means in order for you to be an effective leader, you must be inspirational. Leadership is not oppressive. From the definition of a leader, a leader is leadership is all about influence. That means to influence people in a certain direction, not to manipulate people. So leadership is not suppressive. Leadership is not depressive. Leadership does not does not limit people. Leadership unleashes the potential inside of people. It brings out the life, the essence. Every effective leader is an inspirational leader. In order to be effective, you have to inspire. You must learn to inspire hope, and to inspire optimism, to inspire faith. You must learn to inspire great possibilities. In order for there to be great exploits, there must always be great inspiration. Because leadership will always face obstacles and you will always face stiff opposition. And inspiration is that desire that fuels you. It's what the chemist will call the activation energy that causes you to overcome every single barrier. That is what inspiration does for a people. As a leader, you have to be inspiring. That means your words must be inspiring. Your actions must be inspiring. Your disposition must be inspiring. You can't be effective in leadership and release despondency and release hopelessness. In order for you to be effective, you must always inspire the people. That means your desire is to bring out the best in them. Your desire is to bring out the best possibility that there is. Your desire is not to stop truncate or to kill people. Your desire is to let them be the best that they can ever be. That is how to be an effective leader, by being inspirational. It's important to note this. Number four, the ears. What the ears are to a person 
is what feedback is to an effective leader. In order for you to be effective at what you do, you need to be able to create a mechanism of receiving feedback from the people that you have dealings with. One of the things that the feedback does for you is it gives the indication that you are not in business all by yourself or just for yourself. It means that you also recognize that you do not have the monopoly of knowledge or all wisdom. It means that you are willing to learn, you're willing to be taught, you're willing to take in corrections. Feedback is important. If you're going to make giant strides as an organization or even as in a relationship, you must learn to ask for feedback because it's not just an idea of what you think is right that matters. Also, you must be able to be sure that what you are trying to achieve is what actually is being received. So you must always create a feedback. The Bible says that we be quick be slow to uh, be slow to speak but be quick to hear which means that a fool the bible says a fool will be considered wise if he can only but keep quiet and this is important because in leadership you must learn to talk less and listen more that way you'll be able to have more information you will get all kinds of feedbacks that will be able to enhance your object or your vision or your strides to improve what you're doing and to let you know what you shouldn't be doing. That's why you, as a leader, you can't afford to talk too much. You must be what quick to hear, quick to listen. You must be interested in getting feedbacks from your people, both internally and externally. That way you are able to adjust and be able to increase your results and improve your productivity. Number five, the skin. What the skin is to a person is what sensitivity is to an effective leader. In order for you to be effective as a leader, you must be sensitive. You must be sensitive for many reasons. One, we live in a multicultural and multiracial society. That means that you must be sensitive to the fact that there is not just one way in which a thing is done that there are different ways in which to achieve an objective. So it's important to realize that people are from different backgrounds and have different kinds of experiences. Whether it's a relationship or a business or a team, you must recognize that you have to be sensitive. In order for you to ever have real impact on someone, you must be able to sit where they have sat. I can't truly be a blessing to you if I haven't experienced the things that you are presently experiencing. Why? Because I'll be speaking over your head. So it's important for us to be sensitive. Be sensitive to the environment you live in. Be sensitive to the staff or the people that work with you. Be sensitive to the future. Be sensitive to the things around. In conclusion, to be an effective leader, you must have eyes, you must have nose, you must have ears, you must have mouth, and you must have skin. That simply means you must have a vision, you must have the ability to communicate the vision, you must have inspiration to bring out the best in people, you must what, be quick to hear and slow to speak, you must have a feedback mechanism in which you are able to adopt to improve your processes, or your products or services. You must have a skin to be able to be sensitive, to be culturally aware, to understand that people learn in different phases and people do not assimilate as fast as everyone. Sensitivity is important. I hope that you will be able to start using one or all of this measure so that you can become more effective in that which you have been called to. It's, it's your boy, Adigoke. Okay? I'll see you again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscription button. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.